Alright. Y'all see that fog in here? Yeah. Some of your early bow season here in Tennessee, and they got this new weekend velvet hook that's been running now for about four years. Starts the Friday before the fourth Saturday in August. As high as during that time of the year here in Tennessee, you'll see fog, okay? This looks like an August, late August morning in Tennessee for you bow hunters out there. Range finders. I've always had trouble with range finders in the fog. Well, I've got this one here out here this morning. You see it there? I've got this one. This range finder right here and this fog right here, I can get it to lock on over on the ground at 64 yards. Okay, I've got a nine, I've got a 19 yard light pole right there. I can get this vortex to hit. This Bushnell Truth won't hit either one. Okay, it won't even hit that big barn over there. Won't even touch it. Okay. 40 yards on the vortex. Okay, now, some of you new beginners out there, you know, Sharpshooter tries to share data. Fog is just as bad as when it gets low that. Maybe worse, it can cause you to be fooled for distance. Okay, so you'll think the object you're shooting at in the fog is farther than it really is. And uh, you shoot over your target with a bow, maybe an air rifle, or you know, I'm just saying. So that's another thing that's this, but this, this one here is doing, even though it does cost a little more. You know, it's not this is not an overly pricey laser range finder, okay? Vortex 1800, it is smoking this one here in the fog. And it also smokes my Nikon Buck, whatever that thing's called. I've had that thing since about 2004. I just thought I would share this. In case people are wondering, those El Cheapo rangefinders on a foggy morning could get you in trouble with a bow, okay? Take it from the old sharpshooter. I had a real nice buck here about four years ago in fog. I misjudged the distance of that thing, and when I went back, when I fog lifted, I shot him for 70 yards, and he wasn't 70 yards. I shot over his back. I watched the boat fly over his back. Never touched him. A big buck, too, okay? I had to crawl through this field to get to him, and I thought I couldn't get no closer to him, so I turned loose on him and come to find out. He's about 52 yards, so it fooled me. When he was out in the field, there was no trees or nothing for land, you know, nothing to just looking at the grass, slightly rolling hillside. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. That one there, the truth about that one is it's no good in the fog versus that one.